Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make your own Gacha original character. It's a pretty easy thing to go by and honestly, once you know the ropes of how to get started easily, then you'll be able to do it all by yourself. So firstly, we're going to go into presets. It usually gives you a pretty crowded one, so we're going to go with default girl or default boy. From there, you would go into body. This is where we get the basic stuff done. You can choose skin color and the skin outline. So we're going to change the skin color a bit and we're going to change the outline to make it darker so that there's more of a contrast so it's easier to see. You can change the height right here. But if you're only doing this for editing, there's not really much point in changing the height, so I'm just going to leave it. And you can change the head size. Right here you can also change the rotation of the head. Then you can flip it side to side. You can flip the hand. Then right here you can change the pose. We have a bunch of preset poses here. Once you have a pose that you're happy with, or just one that you like, then you can go into the next section. First though, you can choose your character icon. This will keep the basic colors of them, and it'll have the little icon shop on your home screen. So now in the face section, it'll start off with here. Here you can choose your base color, so you can go with whatever you want. I'll be doing a red, and then I'll use the fade color as a darker red. You obviously have the outline here too, which I'll make a super dark red. You can choose the highlight color right here, which I'd recommend to just be a light version of the base color that you have. Then you can choose the different hair types. There's a bunch of different rear and front hair types, so it's really just whatever you want them to look like. Then you can choose your ponytail if you want any, you can just not have it if you don't want it. But you can choose to have it right here. There are a bunch of cute little options, but again, you don't really have to choose any. It's just an optional thing. Next, you can go on to eyes. It is pretty much the same thing. There's a bunch of eye presets right here, so you can choose whichever one you think fits best with your character. Right here, you can choose the color of the eye, and then you can choose the color for the eyelashes and such. Black is usually the easiest thing to go with if you're going to be editing, but the other colors look pretty nice, so it's really just down to whatever you want it to look like. Over here you have a bunch of pupil options, you can keep scrolling until you find ones that you like, and then you can choose the color of the pupils. Then you have your eyebrows, which is just the same thing, you can just find whatever ones th you think suits your character best. And then onto the face section, we have a nose, a mouth, and a blush. They are all the same process as before. Although usually people don't add noses, you can still choose to add it if you want to. You can choose your colors for all of these. You can also change the way your hair has been highlighted, which I think is pretty nice. Then we have presets for your eyes right here. I would usually avoid doing these since it's more fun to make your own, but if you want to use a preset, that is completely valid. Then we have the adjust section right here where you can basically choose something and then you can move it pixel by pixel manually. Now we have the clothes section, there is a lot to cover here. It'll be essentially the same thing as doing the eyes or the hair. Right here we have hats, so I'm just going to find some sort of vague hat accessory so I can show you how this section works. So with this you just find one that you like, and then once you've found that you can change the three colors. You'll have the main color, which you can make to match whatever you've done, or you can make it a totally different color, it's down to you. And then you have the accessory color. There are some things you cannot change, for example in here we can't change that the bell is going to be yellow. This will work the same for all of these, we have other accessories for the head, and then accessories for the face. Then we have the accessory section, this will have literally just small accessories. So we'll have face accessories, which are things like band-aids or little bits of jewellery or whatever, markings, etc. Again, it'll have the same format as the rest of them when it comes to choosing the colors for it. Then we have the same thing here where it gives you another option to do more face accessories. Then we have scarves or bows or collars that you can add in. I think they look really cute, so I'm going to add one. And then we have a shirt logo option. I usually have this off since it's just kind of difficult and none of them really look especially nice, but if you want to keep it on there, you can. Then we have upper, this will be things to do with your shirt, and it will also have some starred bits for your skirt. You can choose whatever shirt you want to, I'll just go and pick a random one that I think looks nice. And then you can pick the sleeves. You can have them match or not, that's absolutely down to you. Like the rest of it, this is wholly optional, you can go with a different one if you want to. 
It should also be noted that since there's no set models, you can have skirts for guys or just normal clothes for girls too. You can just basically use whatever clothes option you want. So yeah, just go into here and find whatever colors you like and then match them up. You can change certain parts of this to match. For example, we can change some of the detail colors right here so they look a bit different. There's also a jacket option, which has some really nice looking jackets, although I don't think they would fit this character specifically, so I'm not going to put any in here. Then we have lower. This is for your shoes, your socks, and your pants. Again, same method with choosing the colors. You can also change the color of the other socks. You can have them both be different colors if you wanted to. And then you have the shoes. There's a bunch of different shoe options here, all of which look pretty nice. So there you go, you can change the individual right or left ones. Also has capes, wings, tails, etc. You can choose whatever you want here, obviously. I'm going to add in a quick tail because I think it would look cute. You also have extra, which has really small little extra accessories like bracelets and such. So now here we have the other section. We have props, effects, and other small bits. With props, they're just things that your character will hold that you can add in here to add to the effect, or if you're doing a mini-movie, then you can add these in for certain scenes. We have both props here, and then we also have shield options, which I think is pretty cool, although there's not a super extensive range of them. Then you have effects. You can choose basically just these funky little background images. Then we have hiding things, where you can just change certain aspects. Then you also have these body maps. Body maps are incredibly useful because you can use these for editing in that you can just take the individual pieces and move them around as you want to to make your own poses. They're very, very useful things to have on hand. And then you have pets, where you can just choose a cute little pet to hang out with your character. Then lastly, we have objects. So here you can choose a bunch of objects to add into your scene. Then the last one is Profile, and this is pretty important for keeping it in more of an original character format. You can give them a name, a birthday, an age, a little description. You can give them a signature to say that you made them. Then you have additional details right here, which is things like favorite color, favorite food, their location, their personality, and their occupation. And from there, if you just click X right here, you can see that they'll just be in your normal menu. And that was how to make your original character in Gacha Club. I hope that you enjoyed, and if you did, maybe consider supporting. Bye!